this is Lucy. Hi, this is uh, John, John Wickens. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good, good. I'm at uh, Mercy Hospital in down in Portland. Yep. Yep. Uh, um, I got the, um, yeah, so I got your message, the message that you left earlier, um, and you're wondering about antibody tests and why you would get vaccinated if you have already had COVID? Correct. I'm actually calling for uh, colleagues of, my, of mine. Uh, there's a lot of people refusing to take the test and, or the, the vaccine until they have the COVID test with the antibodies. The antibody test? Yeah, okay. yeah. That's what so I mean. that, so the reason that we, we don't recommend the, um, the antibody test because um, it doesn't tell you for sure that you've had COVID-19. It just says whether you've had any coronavirus um, so it's not diagnostic in that way. Um, or are, so I, we actually have two uh, two employees that had COVID. They tested positive before. They were actually they were one they were the two most vocal about not taking the vaccine because they already had COVID. So I think today, actually, on Dr. Shaw's press briefing, he did explain that if you've had COVID, you would you would still be vaccinated again. Um, you can get COVID more than once. So the recommendation is still to get the vaccine. But it's so, I guess, but they've, and I agree with everything you're saying. I'm just bringing up their points that they keep on throwing at us. Uh, if you can keep getting COVID again, then the vaccine would be useless because all it does is trick, trick your body into creating antibodies. Does that make sense? So I'm not a medical professional, so I, I'm not really qualified to explain more how this works. I just know what I've been told um and yeah i mean a lot of this to me is confusing actually so um so yeah so so i can only tell you what the cdc recommends but in terms of like how it actually works well i mean the only reason we ask is because you know we we deal with vaccines all the time and there's not really an instance where if a if you catching a a virus your body doesn't keep maintain those antibodies then the vaccine would actually be pointless too because all the vaccine does is trick your body into creating antibodies. So the notion that if you got COVID but but your body might not permanently fight it off, that a vaccine would help doesn't make any sense with science. And, and that's this is their so, point. Yeah. I, I'm still getting it either way, yeah. but but that's actually a real... So I don't know. I, I think this, this vaccine, the very, very little bit that I know about it, I don't know... You know, it's an mRNA vaccine. Yeah, so it's an artificially uh, created uh, RNA to actually make itself look like COVID so that your body actually creates antibodies that are similar to what would fight it normally. But it would reduce the amount of, uh, I guess, symptoms that you would have normally with like a, a vaccine. But it still acts the same way where it tricks your body into creating antibodies. It, it's actually not more powerful than catching the actual virus itself and fighting it off. So you, so it sounds like you know a lot more than I do about the actual vaccine and how the body works. So <laughs> well, no, no, no. So, so any, and I'm not trying to attack you on this. We, we've been debating. We, we've been debating at work, and we all know how the, the vaccines work here, and that's why there's such a pushback with my coworkers, and they're saying this yeah. doesn't make sense. The, the, everyone wants to take it that hasn't had COVID or doesn't think they had COVID. But the workers that yeah. already had COVID go, this makes absolutely no sense why they should have to take the vaccine. Uh, if it mutated, that would make sense because then you'd have a new one. But the original vaccine was based on the original COVID. And that's when they actually first took it or first had COVID. So we're, it, it, does, it just so doesn't. My only other, my only other suggestion, suggestion is to call the main immunization program directly. Um, yeah. Who, you know, I can give you the number. Sure. It's one eight seven seven eight six seven four seven seven five. Thank you, and I and I'm actually on the side of getting everyone vaccinated. I just can't get these few coworkers, and their points do make sense. I've, we've gotten pretty much everyone else on board. It's just that the people that had COVID are refusing to take the vaccine. They're saying they're really, really putting up a fight. And we want to try and make sure that Mercy has all vaccinated our workers. And then that way we can kind of promote that to the public. It would be, it would be a good thing. It's just that this, this this one little hurdle is just not making sense with the, with our community, everyone else, you know, the people that have the religious part of it, their willingness to put that aside, you know, philosophical, 
it's just down to this part yeah. where where people had COVID and now you're saying you have to still get the vaccine. That's putting up massive red flags in our group. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm not having to think about getting it myself yet, so I don't even know. Because um, we're, yeah, we're at that point. We've already had yeah. probably at least uh, two dozen workers have gotten uh, the vaccine. And, and no one's worried about getting sick off of it. The red flag is merely the point where if you already have, it would be like if you had polio and then someone said you still have to get the polio vaccine. It, you just wouldn't. And and then if, if, if the, uh, because if polio kept on coming back, then the vaccine would be pointless too. So that's, we're just kind of getting a little bit of resistance there. If we can get past this hurdle and we can actually get an actual, we, we've been trying to call and find out, but we haven't gotten any legit explanation on this aspect of it. Yeah. I mean, when I hang up with you, I will, I'm going to talk to my supervisor, but I think that she just has the same information I do because we're not vaccine experts, but um, definitely, I mean, it's definitely food for thought and I don't, and I wish I knew more, but try calling that line. Um, you guys have been wonderful. You can't... Okay, good. That's good to hear. No, seriously. I, I, I think I, if you could, I, oh. I just don't know who else you could like reach out to. That's I mean, where the CDC is supposed to be like, you know, we, we just, we're just so <laughs> ill-equipped at this point, I think, with the vaccination stuff, because there's so much unknown really to even experts. So yeah. um, someone in my role is like, um, there's nothing to be really, even really trained on to tell you. So I hope that you can get some better information. Yeah, than, no, you know? I, we were just shocked because Sean and Mills and everyone else, they've definitely addressed a lot of the questions. But now that the vaccine's here... We haven't had one single person address if why you stopped to get the vaccine if you had COVID. It was our line of thinking, as sad as it was to see 20,000, 25,000 Mainers get uh, COVID, we were thinking in our head, that's wonderful and if they recover because that's 25,000 people that are immune and that's how you, you build herd immunity. But the moment that you say that getting COVID doesn't actually ca- create herd immunity, you actually negate any uh, benefit of the vaccine. The vaccine's not some magical cure it's just to trick your body into creating the same antibodies you get from the virus so to hear these contradicting things it's we're we were all on board and now it's starting to get a little weird does that make sense yeah and i'm trying to if you have a chance to watch you know we have we have um the briefings on our web page after they've aired so yeah. i do think I, i'm pretty sure i heard it in the background today his um addressing this point so if you tried no. catching that somehow um that it might there might be some information i just didn't get no that's that's perfect i'm actually going to watch that right after thank okay. you uh okay. if you if you need to uh some leave a voicemail for me like you did last time if you find out anything our goal is to try to get everyone vaccinated or exempted uh we were thinking that covid would just like the the vaccine if you had covid you would have some form of exemption you, you know you either get vaccinated or you had covid that's usually how these type of things work. Mm-hmm. It's, that's just how it's always worked in the past mm-hmm. with every other virus. Like if you had SARS, mm-hmm. you didn't, you, you know what I mean? Like this is, this is just not following mm-hmm. protocol. That's why we're confused. Yeah. Sort of sketchy. All right. Well, good luck right. in your quest. No, no, no problem. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sure. Bye.